indisputable exclusive. Hell of a story. A black woman attacked by Fort Lauderdale cops. She tells the truth about what happened to her. Police officer says, no, 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 he was attacked. Got the video, we have updates, we have the exclusive. Here it is. For Zulu Lima. Oh my God, this is amazing. This is amazing. How you doing? You got an ID on you, ma'am? Why am I giving my ID? Because I asked for it. Because you asked. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's called a charity Already. stop, right? That's a charity stop, right? Um, Crooky Annie. Nah, this is a traffic stop. She probably just. No, I'm talking about the, your ID. You have to give your ID. What is that law called? Where you like? Because a lot of some people think that I don't have. To, I know my rights. I don't have to give my ID. Like, you have to um, give them your ID, right? If you in if you're a driving. Commission, yeah. If you're she behind a wheel, so yeah, yeah you got to get your ID. So this is a this is a traffic stop, but like in a Terry stop. Yeah, if you feel like they're in a commission of committing a crime or fucking uh, on their way to commit a crime or have committed a crime, then you have the right by the Supreme Court, uh, Terry versus Ohio, to fucking um, ask for ID. So a Terry stop is just, it's, it, you said it's, it's an not a court. It's an invest investigatory stop. And it's a Supreme Court case that gave us the right to do like basically it gave us the right to be proactive and be policing type shit. So like if she's just chilling like maybe she wasn't driving, but maybe she's chilling in the car and then he could he pulled up on her, that type of thing. That's no, 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 no. You so you you gotta have probable you gotta have reasonable suspicion to pull up on her. So if uh, let's say if you had got a call that like a person in this type of car was selling like drugs and shit, or this person had this car matched the description of a robbery suspect that just happened in the area type shit, then you have reasonable suspicion to investigate that, you know what I'm saying, that person and Okay. Yeah. That's the I got you. All yeah. Right. Okay, I no longer feel comfortable because I don't even have a problem. Okay, here. well I'm asking you for ID. If you don't produce it, I'm gonna take you to jail. Okay, so let okay, me see your ID. Do you hear this mom? Do you hear this mom? I'm waiting on my friend, and now I'm about to get arrested because I'm, I'm not going to ask you again. ID. I'm not going to ask you again. Yeah, like she's just being a fucking asshole. Out there, like, it's not that hard. It's, I mean, listen, I get it. I completely understand her, like, like being annoyed by this. But this is a civil society, and there's it, it, there's there's certain like things we do, like what do they call it? Social contract. The social contract is. You know what I mean? If an officer asks you for your ID, you, you give it to, or you at least um, put the phone down for two seconds to, to talk right. to him. Address the serious issue in front of you. And this, yeah. this is what I don't understand about some people, right? So, like, let's say this was like an unreasonable or unconstitutional stop. Bro. Give them your ID and tell them I did not fucking, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't consent to this stop or whatever. This is not a consensual stop. And then go get a lawyer. They're going to fucking represent you pro bono. And then you'll fucking win some money. And this is very oh, simple. Shit. You don't even have to get your ass whooped. True shit. It's simple. If it's mm -hmm. unconstitutional, he violated your Fourth Amendment right, you win. This mom. <laughs> He's not giving me a problem or what what did I do wrong? What did I do? These people can kill me, Mom. I'm going to show you the rest of the video and the injuries that she sustained. I want to remind you that this was not even a traffic stop in the traditional sense. Ms. Cooper was waiting for her friend to join her so they could celebrate her birthday at the beach. She was just waiting there, all right? That's it. When Deputy Stephen decided to pull up, De Deputy Stephen Davis decided to pull up and said, give me your identification. After she hesitated, which is understandable, he forcefully pulled her out of the car after the altercation, she was charged with resisting arrest and battery on an officer. Nothing about traffic, nothing about uh, a citation, 
for pullover. Here's the next video. Ma'am, I'm gonna ask you one more time, and then I'm gonna pull you out of the car, okay? I'm not pulling me out of nothing. Sorry, please. Why are you being a Because he just told you what, could he? Multiple times. <laughs> he just literally told you, I'm gonna pull you out of the car if you don't give me What are you doing? Why are you pulling me out of the car? <laughs> <laughs> like, he had water. You've been forewarned, man. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, she sounded like she was resisting like a motherfucker. Take her ass to jail, man. Fuck that shit. This shit's so fucking stupid. It's so irritating. Um, I bet you she was probably parked in a fucking handicap or some shit. And he just pulled up behind her, like, hey, that wasn't the beginning of the video, obviously. Right. No. But I guarantee no. you, it's so much more to that shit. She's a oh my god. Yeah, this, this is so unnecessary, man, for her to be in this situation. What's wrong with you? You just hit a woman and you have no ID. What's wrong? I'm going to do this. Put up the pictures that she provided to Indisputable directly. What this officer did to her. Good. She was this then. Socked her in the eye, guys. Yo, like I, I, I really don't feel sorry for her. I swear to God, cause I, I got bruises like this, like before with the cops when I was younger, cause I, I fought, like I was fighting with them and shit. Like, the fuck, what do you think? Like, you get in a fight with the cops, they're gonna beat you up. What the fuck? Like, I don't think people understand this shit. Like, just give me your ID. What was so hard about like, hey man, like, like Cook said, man, just give me your ID. Here you go. Yeah, I'll see you in court later, man. Fuck it, man. Here's my ID. Keep it moving. Get your ticket or whatever. Keep it moving. But these people gotta fight the. She's fight. You can hear in her voice like, "You don't gonna, gonna come off me. You don't gonna... Come on, man. You ain't a girl. You ain't a woman. Yeah, because you're resisting arrest. What the fuck? I don't even man. think you even have to hit a woman for this to happen. Like, right. You can just tussle with a woman and they get bruised. Just up. grabbing. Yeah, just but grabbing. Just grabbing. Man, and on. So you so much more hard. You're harder and stronger than them. Nah, but yeah. he definitely stole her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he definitely stole her. He definitely hit her in that eye. Yeah, because she said it. She, she, you heard her say, are you going to put him not go hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, beat her ass, bro. Take your ass to jail. I want you to see this. She did nothing illegal. See, this is where the officer wanted it to go. This is what he wanted to do because he, in fact, is a coward, a feckless human being. The incident is currently being heard in court, end quote. Damn. Put up the share. You should be a damn shamed of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Sheriff you Gregory. You see like a, a white cop. He uh, had to put the sheriff. picture. Uh, Mr. Sheriff, Mr. Sheriff. Oh, he's not the one that did it? No, no, no. Tony oh, okay. of the Broward County Sheriff's Office has been elected as the sheriff since 2019. I hope and pray the citizens of your jurisdiction boot you the hell out. So he should lose his job because while he was probably in his office doing some paperwork, <laughs> doing something, one of his officers got into a tussle. With some <laughs> this guy Bro, should be fired. Why they always they? Bro, they always want somebody to lose their fucking job, bro. It's because like, what niggas were slaves for 400 years, so their relationship <laughs> to their jobs is traumatic. Bro, what a weird bunch of people, bro. Like, people, man. like just a weird group of people. Like, no snitch culture on one end, but lose yeah. job. The niggas uh, with jobs got to lose them. FBI on January 6th people on the other yeah. end. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, this is this is this is a bizarre um, ask or um, it, how like he needs to lose his job. Like this guy 
had they don't uh, black people don't understand nuance we all know that so the nuance of this situation is that yes he's the sheriff yes he's in charge of the police department but also he's got police all over this county in all different situations taking all different types of calls interaction with the police he's not he he shouldn't to hold him responsible for each one of those interactions and how <laughs> and how lazy and how lazy is this fucking reporting he says he states that this man has been elected since 2019 and he should lose his job but he didn't even go back to get any fucking other incidents or connect some shit and say right. this motherfucker ain't did nothing right right you know like, how Real lazy shit. is this report since Real 2019 shit. this is first incident recording to fucking richie but he gotta go yes yeah, bizarre man it's just so bizarre man he allows davis to continue this behavior unchecked unfettered without penalty without the enforcement of rule or law. Let me say this to you, Sheriff. Maybe you got into this profession because you actually cared about people. You know, that cop you protected, he did not elect you. The people he's brutalizing did. Now, I'm going to stay on top of this and I have the date of your reelection, sir. I will remind people of you during that time. It is in your best interest for your political career to do the right thing by the people who put you in that position. To allow this man who has a stated MO that we could find, we could find his MO. I'm sure you know way more than we do. And to do nothing, not even investigate. And to the DA who is prosecuting these cases, allowing individuals to not be truthful under oath without penalty. Well, we got something for you as well. That story's coming too. All right. I, I like dudes like this. I'm not trying to be a dick, but like dudes like this, I can't wait till they get like hurt by the Sun in, Man, like in the in the worst way, so they can feel it and then they can look at the Sun Man and understand why they. Oh man, I can't wait. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm not trying to be. 